this segment we're going to talk about the proper operation of the clutch pedal and the mechanics that are happening at the other end. If you imagine you've just opened the driver's side door and you're looking in the cab, when the clutch pedal is all the way up, your foot is not on it, the clutch is engaged. Your engine and your transmission are connected, power is flowing through, or you're parked idling in neutral, whichever the case may be. When you first start to depress the clutch pedal, the initial one to one and a half inches is a very light resistance. It's the slack in the linkage that we call free play. This is necessary mechanically so that we don't wear out the throw up bearing. Yeah, you've heard people tell you that you should not have your foot resting on the clutch pedal while you're driving. If you do that, you're constantly spinning a throw out bearing that leads to premature failure. So that initial one and a half inches free play. Every day we check that. When it gets too small, we talk to the mechanics about adjusting the linkage to restore it. When you get approximately halfway down, the clutch is now disengaged. Your engine and your transmission are disconnected. We can stop at a stop sign or a red light. We can change a gear, whatever it is that we need to do. This is where most of what we do with the clutch happens, the halfway point. When you continue on down to the floor, however, and this is not something that happens in a manual transmission car or pickup truck, so you're probably not used to this, the final inch of movement engages the input shaft brake, also known as the clutch brake. The clutch brake or input shaft brake is necessary for that initial gear selection. You've had the vehicle idling in neutral, you want to put it in gear and drive away. Because there are no synchronizers inside the main box of the transmission, if you open the clutch, that front part of the transmission is going to continue to spin from its own momentum for way longer than you want to wait. So the designers put an input shaft brake, literally it's a disc brake, about three and a half inches in diameter, on the input shaft of the transmission, and they attach the linkage of the brake to the clutch pedal linkage because you're already going to be on the clutch pedal when you need the input shaft brake. It's that last inch at the floor. It is very important that you understand how that works because if you push the clutch pedal that far down while the truck is moving, you will rip the input shaft brake right out of there and then you won't have one. And that will be a problem every time you want to put the truck in gear in the parking lot. And so not pushing the clutch pedal too far down is best handled by adjusting your seat position correctly in the first place. This halfway point where most of what we do with the clutch happens is also where the designer put your throttle pedal and your brake pedal for your right foot. And so when you adjust your seat position, when you first get in the truck, you want to take care of the vertical adjustment, which is the air spring suspension adjusted according to your body weight, and then the horizontal. You only want to get close enough so that your heel of your right foot sits in that pocket where that throttle pedal meets the floor. And then when you're sitting still at a red light, for example, your feet are even. You've got the clutch pedal halfway down, you're holding the brake, waiting for the light to turn green. If you go on down, you'll get that input shaft break, but that is a long, kind of awkward feeling stretch. It seems like you're sitting too far back, but you're not. You don't want to be so close that you can easily get that pedal to the floor, or you'll be stomping all over your input shaft brake when you don't intend to, and you'll end up tearing it out of there. And then you'll have a problem with initial gear selections. And so, at the top, you've got that free play, we need to be aware of that each day. It shrinks over time. You've got to have it adjusted periodically. The halfway point where we do most of what we do, and then that final inch where the input shaft brake operates. Very important that you understand these two different places so that you don't go on past this one while you're trying to change a gear going down the road and end up causing both problems with shifting because you'll mess up your RPM solution and you won't get a gear for that or rip out the input shaft brake and then you won't have one. And so, at the top, the free play measurement, the business area, and then at the bottom, the input shaft brake. Very careful to not damage your input shaft brake.